What's up guys, welcome to Apex. Thanks for tuning in. In this video, let's take a look at all the brand new features we have got on One UI 6.0 beta on the Samsung foldable devices. This is the Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 I've got here. I'm currently running on the second beta of One UI 6.0. Let's dive in and take a look at all the new features. First thing to note is the all new font that we've got. Now the default font has been changed and this font looks much more elegant than the previous font we had on One UI 5.1.1. The quick panel layout has has been completely redesigned which provides easier access to some of the toggles which are important for us. We have got dedicated Wi-Fi and Bluetooth toggle right on top. Then we have got this panel with all the other toggles. We can swipe right to see more toggles. Then all the visual features like the dark mode, icon for shield and brightness bar have been moved to the bottom. Then we have smart view and a device control in a big buttons at the extreme bottom of this page. Now it definitely looks more streamlined and much more accessible than before. Now we can instantly access the full quick panel. Usually we swipe down once to see the quick panel and do a second swipe for the notifications to show up but if you just want to swipe once to see the expanded quick panel we can set that up now just go to the quick panel settings we have this option here called quick settings instant access just enable this toggle you will be able to swipe down from the top right to expand the entire panel then we have got this improved album art display while playing music or videos album art will cover the entire media controller in the notification panel on the notification panel each notification will now appear as a separate card which is a little more streamlined I would say you can also notice that the notification icons also look the same as the app icons which makes it easier to recognize which app you're getting the notification from. Now coming to multitasking feature, we can keep the pop-up windows open now on One UI 6.0. Instead of minimizing pop-up windows when you go to the recent screen, pop-ups will remain open even after you leave the recent screen. That is just perfect. The emojis on the phone have been redesigned. Now wherever you see the emojis, whether it is in a social media application or messages, you will see refreshed emojis there. We have got a brand new weather widget now. This is called Weather Insights widgets which provides more information about your local weather conditions. Overall the weather application also has been improved. Now coming to the cameras, now we have got brand new camera widgets which can be customized to directly open a particular video mode or photo mode right from your home screen. We can just set a widget to start in a specific shooting mode. The camera application UI has been redesigned. Now we get quick access to resolution settings. It's very easy to choose the resolution right from here on the top. We've got easier video size options now. We get more alignment options for watermarks as well. Now on the gallery application, we can see many more changes. We can now clip the subject from the image background and save it as stickers, or we can just press and hold on the image to clip the subject from the background and uh, use the other finger to go to any other application and drop that cropped image to send it or to save it. Then we've got a brand new photo editor. The editing layout has been changed and the tools are much more accessible now, as you can see. And we get a brand new video editing feature now called studio which is an advanced video editing feature now available on samsung which is just fantastic we can now save the edited projects in this application and continue editing whenever we want we can add multiple layers on the timeline like we can add text sound videos transition effects etc and they are much easier to edit now on this application the next important change is the video player now the video player layout has been enhanced the controls are now easily accessible buttons with similar functions have been grouped together and now we also get enhanced playback speed controls between 0.25x and 2x speeds then the smart select feature has been improved we can now resize and extract text from pinned content when you pin an image to the screen you can now resize it or extract text from it under modes and routines we get a new condition we can now start a routine when an application is playing media and we get a new action associated with samsung keyboard settings i will discuss this in detail in the upcoming video so stay tuned the next improvement is in a smart suggestions widget the smart suggestions widget has been redesigned and it can accommodate more icons now and we can customize this widget we can adjust the transparency we can also set applications to exclude from suggestions now coming to my files we have got an integrated trash with gallery my files and gallery trash features have been combined into one when you open the trash in my files you will be able to see the files pictures and videos you have deleted all together in the files application also we can copy a particular file from one folder and use the other finger to go back to another folder and drop it there to paste it these are some of the brand new features which we have got on one ui 6.0 on samsung galaxy z fold 5 and this beta is currently also available for z fold 4 soon after the first beta samsung did release the second beta as 
as well to get rid of some of the bugs and issues. And if you're wondering whether to install this beta version or not, I would suggest you to go ahead and install it. I don't see any major issues or bugs on the Galaxy Z Fold 5 at least for now. But before installing the beta, you can back up the entire data from your phone to Samsung Cloud by just tapping on settings, go to general management, tap on reset. Here you will see an option temporary cloud backup, backup unlimited data to Samsung Cloud for up to 30 days or restore data you have backed up. So just back up your data and go ahead and install the beta. As simple as that. And to install the beta, all you need to do is go to Samsung Members application. On the top, search for the banner One UI 6.0 beta. Just tap on that, you will see another banner. And again, tap on that banner. At the bottom, you will see an option to enroll yourself to beta program. You can read all the instructions carefully and enroll yourself. After tapping on enroll, you can wait for a couple of minutes and go to settings and tap on download and install updates under software settings. You will see the brand new update coming your way. But this is currently available in only a few uh, countries, which includes US, UK, India, Korea, and uh, probably a couple of more countries. If you're living in these countries, you can go ahead and check out the beta version of One UI 6.0 and install it on your device and start enjoying all the new features that we have got. I will keep you guys posted about the upcoming beta versions on this device. If you own a Samsung Galaxy Z Fold 5 or any other Samsung Galaxy phones, be sure to subscribe to the channel to stay updated with all that is happening around your phone and give this video a like if you find this video informational. Thanks for watching. My name is Salian signing off. Cheers. Bye-bye.